Hey, what's going on gamers? It's me, Matt. And today we're going to be talking about the new 3.5 special program. I'm going to I'm going to be condensing it because I've already watched it. And in case some of you guys don't want to watch, you know, a 36 minute long video, I'm just going to condense this and on what's going to what's going to be uh, coming out on 3.5. But so first off, there's going to be two new characters, which is OK. So there's going to be new characters uh, coming out, which is Dia and Mika. Dia first. Let's talk about Dia. So Dia is going to be a uh, Pyro Claymore character, and she looks like she's going to be more of a uh, utility character. And actually, here's the interesting uh, thing: Dia is going to be on the standard banner. Well, not now, but after 3.6, not 3.5, 3.6, she's going to be uh, available on the uh, standard banner. So yeah, if you do, if you didn't get her on the limited banner, then don't worry, you'll have a chance, a chance to get her on the standard banner. I I heard some leaks that she's going to be bad, but and you know that's why she's on a standard banner, but not gonna lie, her utility looks very useful though. Her E actually uh negate some percentage of the damage that your active character has taken and puts it onto Dia if that makes sense like okay so if, for example if your main character uh, takes damage some percentage of that damage will be take uh, will be given to Dia instead so that sounds interesting every time you hit you hit a an enemy within the field a pyro thing comes up but yeah that's it and then her ult just you know lets her punch a lot like here here's the ult so yeah that's her ult right there looks really cool but yeah then that's about it the next character is going to be mika and he looks like he's going to be a a uh, physical support he is a cryo character but he's supposed to be a physical support because he boosts uh with his e he boosts physical damage and attack speed yeah that sounds very interesting because this unit actually uses two weapons well i think the other one's just for you know skills but yeah there we go he uses a uh pole arm and a uh crossbow and it looks very very freaking cool it looks sick not gonna lie dude like that looks sick so his ult is uh just heals basically and it'll recover uh re recover your active characters uh health when they hit a an enemy which is very freaking useful i'd say that's a very good character right there i kind of want him for my eula another uh, c uh update is that there's going to be a archon quest uh yeah dane sleep we're meeting dane sleep again and that's about it that's all i can share because you know i don't like spoilers but yeah Arkan Quest, new Arkan Quest where we meet Dane Slave. Also, Kaya actually. Uh, we're also meeting Kaya. But yeah. <laughs> and then uh, a new hangout event is coming and it's Farazan's hangout event. I'm actually I've actually been waiting for this for a long time because I wanted to know more about this character. She seems interesting. Anyways, let's move on to the events. Uh, wait, no no no, let's move on to the banners. Okay, so first phase, uh, phase one banners is going to be Dia and Sino. I mean, this was kind of unexpected for, because of Sino. He just recently had his banner, but yeah. Anyways, if you want to get Sino or Dia, yeah. First phase, there we go. And then the second phase, it, it, it's very, it's very interesting. I actually thought that we were gonna get Eula, but we got, we got Ayaka instead. <laughs> Because Mika is more of a uh, physical support, and I really thought that we were we were getting uh, Eula, but I guess Hoyoverse says otherwise. But yeah, yeah, kind of disappointed that Eula's not there. But I already had Eula, so uh, maybe others were disappointed. But yeah, for the events, we're going to have Windblooms Breath, and it's going to be a lot of uh, events, and we're gonna be getting a free four star Claymore. I don't know what it does yet, but yeah, we're getting we're getting it for free. One of the events is going to be like a Pac-Man game, like literally Pac-Man, but 3D. <laughs> Not gonna lie, this event looks fun because you can do it in single player and you can also team up, I think. But yeah, we're getting the rhythm event back, like the ones that we had in, in Izuma. Yeah, it looks fun. But yeah, anyways, next event is going to be a picture taking event, like the one we had in Sumeru or all, at least all, all over the place. So yeah, here's the four star Claymore that we're gonna get for free. Yeah, next one, next event. It's the cooking event we had a while back. Now it's coming back again. So yeah, this is the gameplay. 
So you just time it when whatever ingredients is on the screen. But yeah, that's the event right there. So we're getting that event back. And also the finished products you can give to your uh, to your companions in your Serena teapot, and it'll actually increase your companion companionship XP. So yeah, be sure to uh, give those to your companions in the uh, Serena teapot. Next event is this one. This one is very interesting. I'm actually very excited for this one. This is Fungus Mechanicus. So it's basically the mix of the Fungi event and the Mechanicus. I really like uh, Mechanicus, Theater Mechanicus. But this time, the format is very unique. So the Mechanicus is actually, uh, or Mechanicai, Mechanicai. The Mechanicai are the enemies and the Fungi are the ones that you, uh, that you control. But yeah, we're getting a combat event. We had this before on Leeway. It's basically a combat event where you pick two teams, like the Spiral Abyss. You get to pick uh, two teams and then put them into combat. It looks very fun. Then there's Leyline Overflow. So yeah, if you guys want more materials, this is a good chance. And then a new update is coming on, uh, on the TCG. So there's three new characters that I see here, Kokumi, Yula, and Sangonomiya. Uh, not some gonna be a friend. Uh, Kujo Sarah, Kujo Sarah. I mean, it looks like there are they are new characters, but yeah, there's also a mode, heated mode. I think heated battle, where uh, first one of your first cards gets reduced, like the dice uh, cost is reduced. Even one of your, uh, I think, was it elemental skill? But yeah, elemental skill is reduced. And this one is the biggest one yet for me because it says after 3.5 I don't know if it, it is after 3.5 when 3.6 comes out But every Arkhan quest that you uh, finished you will get one intertwined fate So that's gonna be awesome and then as well some other rewards that are very useful But yeah, other than that those are the events. That's the update or at least the upcoming update and it looks mm, Maybe I'll twist my words a little bit. It looks kind of mid. <laughs> because there's no new characters that I'm waiting for. Only Archon Quest and Hangout Quest. And then one event that I'm uh, waiting for. But yeah, it's kind of meh for me. Meh, you know? It's not bad. It's also not that good. But yeah, that's the update. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you all in the next video. Peace. Bye.